welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming and today we are going to have a look at yeah something more or less uh, Sailfisher S related again. As you can see we are going to uh, talk about the Wallaphone 2022 and in this case it's the Sailfisher S is the second operation system on the Wallaphone. The Wallaphone itself has an own operation system on it which is the uh, Waller operation system, Waller OS, and uh, that one is more or less based on Android, but is Google free and made to be Google free and made to be, yeah, more or less very privacy focused too. And um, there are a couple of different other options here, but one of the most interesting one is that you can install at least two different operation systems on the smartphone, and that is a promise that really is very very helpful um, if you want to test out stuff for instance and so on and so forth and uh, till now there was only the option to use Ubuntu Touch or the Walla OS on this uh, operation or this uh, this phone but we got a little bit of an update there and the update is that you can now go and install the community port on that I will show you where I got this information from so first off this is a, is a Walla um, blog here, and in this blog he's going to talk about different stuff. Please give me one sec, I'm trying to change it over to the English version, so you should be able to read what is there. Okay, let's go in there. And what you already can see is that, uh, yeah, there were a couple of different other informations in this uh, tweet here or in this blog post. And uh, the most interesting one is for us, of course, um, is this one. A community port of Selfish OS is also in preparation as an option for a second operation system that can be installed via or via the Walla boot manager. So it should be pretty easy to get a Selfish OS on this smartphone because it's really done with a couple of clicks more or less and um, the problem about that is that it wasn't available till now so it had to be more or less um, waited for because it was in preparation but there was nothing that was implementing impl implementing that whatever and um, yeah now we got a different little information about that because on the 17th of October um, we got a little update on all of this and one of those is option for Selfish OS as a second operation system for the Walla Phone 2022 in this case. Um, so the next update it's in the beta test uh, phase at the moment so there is no no um, yeah official support but it's in the beta testing and the great thing about that is that it's going to be available pretty much soon on the 11.1 operation system update of Walla OS. So the really interesting thing about that is that you can install more or less on the smartphone two different operation systems which are going to be, there are a couple of different ones, but the, which are going to be for instance Sailfish OS and Walla OS or, or Walla OS and Ubuntu OS or something like that. And as mentioned before, now you can install that one too. Yeah, and this is more or less all I've got. So it's not a lot to talk about here, but it's a very interesting thing. And uh, yeah, I, I think this is going to be something I would like to explore in future. Um, you can buy the Waller phone, for instance. So if you are not going to get to go with the Xperia Mark uh, 10 Mark 3 or, or 2, whatever, you could go with the Waller phone too. Just to mention it again, um, this is a community port, so we are not talking about the full support for Android apps and stuff like that on that. But the good thing about that is, if you really need it, you could, for instance, use Waller OS for the Android apps on your smartphone, and you could use, for instance, Selfish OS for everything else if you want to try it out and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it would be great if, for instance, uh, Yola and Walla, so it's a little bit hard to, to pronounce them in a different way, but uh, Yola and Walla, Yola, the Selfish OS uh, operation system provider, manufacturer, whatever, um, is of course uh, 
in the end supporting the Sony Xperia uh, 10 Mark III officially, which is great and all because then you get the, the, um, the Android support on it and stuff like that. But maybe they could do some kind of a yeah, cooperation with Waller phone, for instance, to get uh, that working here too. So in that case, it would really support everything on that smartphone. Um, question is if you really need that, I'm not sure, but it would be a great thing to have it because then, yeah, just the more the merrier more or less, you know? Okay, so um, if you want to have a look at the prices for that one, for instance, go, just go to the shop here and you will see that the Waller phone 2022 or 22 is already on, on uh, sale and you can get it for about 450 about 450 euros um, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't go for one of the other options especially not the phone X if you ask me just get the phone 2022 it's much much faster and uh, newer in this case and of course it offers all the different operation systems uh, as an option there so if you want to go in that direction get that one otherwise get for instance the Sony Xperia 10 Mark III and get Selfish OS on it um, yeah more or less without the option to go to the YOLA uh, OS and just to mention it again YOLA OS is an Android uh, based OS it's not like Selfish OS or Ubuntu OS a Linux based one so um, it's really an Android uh, OS that is more or less something like Lineage OS or E or whatever you want to call it um, and uh, much better than the, the original Google version in terms of privacy features and stuff like that and of course data protection in the end but I would really recommend to go the Linux way if you can so if you want to use this just go with the, with the Waller phone and get for instance if you go to this page here you can already see that you can get it pre-installed with Ubuntu Touch for instance so if you want to go this route try Ubuntu Touch on it I would say it's worth it you can install both operation systems on it so Selfish OS um, with or, uh, Ubuntu or Touch or Waller OS if you're asking me if you can for instance go with um, Selfish OS and you can go with Ubuntu Touch on it. I'm not sure about that. If that is possible, maybe it could be, but I'm not sure if that is really possible because the second OS on this uh, smartphone is always called here and there is no mentioning that you can get rid of one OS on it. Um, I would say why would you just if you get this one get the one OS to get full uh, uh, support for it and um, of course the second one could be selfish OS. Okay yeah and this is more or less what I have to say about this so um, I will have a look at this and maybe even get one of those just to compare them with the Sony Xperia 10 Mark III if you're interested in that. Um, I'm not at the moment owning one of those devices so maybe in future I'm not sure um, especially if the selfish OS uh, community port is really a great one then and we already know about that but in a better way then I might tend to try it out but we will see. So thank you for watching, thank you for listening, hope you have a great time, sorry for the very short and yeah not too many new informations in the uh, episode here but I hope you still had fun listening to me here and other than that thank you for watching, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Um, any kind of commentary or whatever, put it down below in the commentary section. And other than that, don't uh, forget to subscribe. We will see us in the next episode again. And bye. Bye.